Hey guys, I'm out here at the wetland area and I'm looking for animal tracks to get some castings of. And it's a couple days after a good rain, so we should be able to find some pretty cool stuff. So uh, here's a little mud mud spot. And I already see a few tracks like here is a really good set of frog tracks. Now the problem is that those tracks are a little bit too shallow to get a good enough casting of. Here's some weird other kind of tracks. Like sometimes if, if I can't get a good casting of them, I'll just take some pictures of them anyways. Let's see. Now deer and raccoon tracks are like the best kind of tracks that you can find because they're kind of heavier animals and they always have good dents in them. So here's some more frog tracks. See so went hop, hop. Those actually might be good enough to get castings of. So I'll, I'll try that. So there's front and hind legs, some kind of frog. I have seen, I've seen green frogs and leopard frogs here. So that's probably one of the species it is. Let's see here. Now you gotta have a good eye because there's some, a lot of really small animals that live out here like uh, some once I've seen snappy turtle tracks here. So, oh, here we go, raccoon tracks. Ooh, perfect. Those are really good. We'll keep hunting. There's a lot of tracks today, and we're gonna see which ones are the best. We're gonna find the best ones. Then I'm gonna bring out my stuff, and then I'll show you how to get castings of them. Check this out. I found some possum tracks. Even with the tail drag in it. It's pretty cool. It's a big set of tracks. Alright, so I found some tracks that I want to get a casting of and of course I had to get uh, some frog tracks. Let's see. There we go. Right there. And I made my mold. Now all you have to use for the mold is a piece of poster board, roll it up, tape it to the side like that, and make sure it fits uh, around the tracks that you want. Now, a good thing to do is put petroleum jelly on the inside of this so that when you come to take the plaster of Paris out, which is the type of molding we're going to use to get the casting, uh, you can use petroleum jelly and that helps the casting slip out really easy. Alright, I've got my mixture of plaster of Paris and water and here's what the plaster of Paris looks like dry. It's kind of like this powdery mix. And you mix it up with water until it's a good consistency, kind of like really watery pancake mix. And since these tracks are not very deep, if I used anything thicker than this, the weight of it would kind of mess up the tracks. So for this set, this particular set of tracks, I'm going to use a kind of soupy mix so that when I pour it in, it won't weigh it down. So here we go, multitasking here. And I'm pouring it in. There we go. And you want it two inches deep at least. You don't want it so thin that it'll crack on you. So that's, I feel comfortable with that depth right there. I might do this set. I'm not quite sure what species this is, some kind of mammal, but I'll get it anyways and I'll identify it later. I have my second mixture already. And we are going to pour it in this casting. Now notice I did make this a little bit more uh, thicker because the tracks are a little bit more strong. They're not as fragile as the smaller frog tracks. So pour this in. Hold on. I actually like this set of possum tracks so much that I'm going to get a casting of it. And the cool thing is I don't have a casting of these already. So this is going to be new, new to my collection. I really love how there's this tail skid right here. And I'm going to kind of go like that so I can get these two prints plus the tail skid. I don't have enough to do the whole thing, but yeah, just kind of improvise. I must say that was really fun getting all those tracks and finding all the different species. 
So I'm going to wait a while, let these harden. Usually it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the casting for them to dry. So when they're dry, I'll come back and we'll see how they turn out. You can hear there's a few frog species calling behind me. I hear eastern nearmouth toads and green frogs. Here's how the tracks turned out after scrubbing them up a little bit. And I'm actually kind of pleased at how they turned out. Here's the possum tracks, fox tracks. I ID'd these and I'm pretty sure they're fox tracks. And then here's the frog tracks. And here's some of my other tracks that I've gotten before. Deer tracks, uh, eastern gray squirrel tracks, frog, and raccoon. So. It just kind of varies how they turn out. I, I like leaving a little bit of mud there to kind of make the print show up good. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Add some new species to my collection, yay!